I was staying with friends in Orlando last week on my way to the National Speakers Conference. The first morning, I slept right through my alarm and woke up two hours late. I pulled myself together in record time, ordered an Uber on my cell phone, and raced for the front door. So I had every reason to be in a grumpy mood as I dragged my luggage out on the street and started scanning the neighborhood for my ride. The car was already there waiting, but it took me a moment to notice. I still haven't gotten used to the idea that a cabbie would be driving a pristine Cadillac sedan. I took a breath, hitched a smile on my face, and said good morning to the driver. After all, he had gotten there in record time, and it wasn't his fault that I overslept. Why should I ruin his morning by inflicting my bad mood on him? I gratefully accepted the bottle of water he offered and settled back in the leather seat. We made light conversation for a couple of minutes, and then he said, Man, you're just what I needed this morning. How's that, I asked. He said, The woman I just dropped off had the foulest mouth I've ever heard. She was on her phone, and I couldn't believe someone could talk like that. I thought my head was going to explode. What did I do to make this fellow's day? Nothing. Nothing except conduct myself with a measure of human dignity. Nothing except speak softly, show appreciation, and turn the corners of my mouth up into a smile. King Solomon says pleasant words are like honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. It doesn't take much to raise another person's spirit. As long as we don't let the world pull us down into the mud, we might even do it by accident. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, or subscribe. Click the link below to visit my website where you can order a free copy of my ebook, The Three Pillars of Success. I'm Jonas Goldson. See you next time.